The top eight vitamins to relieve joint pain. If you suffer with joint pain in your knees, hips, wrists, elbows, shoulders, or your jaw, then you may be suffering with joint damage. The joints in your body contain connective tissues, such as ligaments, tendons, and cartilage, which allows them to move and bend. Sometimes these tissues become damaged or they wear away, which causes stiffness and a dull aching sensation, especially in the spine, the hands, and the wrists. Joint degeneration is very common with over one in four adults suffering with some type of arthritis or joint pain. Fortunately, there are natural vitamins that you can consume to relieve joint pain and also to help repair the joint tissues. In this video, I use the words vitamins broadly to include minerals, enzymes and natural remedies that you can use to relieve joint pain. Afterwards, you'll also learn about certain foods that you should avoid, which are probably making your joints more painful. Just a quick reminder, this video is for educational purposes only, so do speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. The first inexpensive yet powerful remedy is boron. Boron is a trace mineral which has been shown to reduce joint pain in 70% of people who take it at a dosage of 6 mg per day. This helps your body to make anti-inflammatory hormones, such as cortisol, which naturally reduces inflammation and swelling in your joints. You can also get more of this into your diet by eating avocados, which are a good source. Getting more boron into your diet also helps your bones to absorb more calcium and magnesium in order to make them stronger. The second remedy for joint pain is turmeric. Whether you have osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or any other degenerative joint disease, turmeric can definitely help you. Turmeric contains an active ingredient called curcumin, which helps to lower inflammation and swelling in the connective tissues in your joints. You can take up to 2,000 milligrams of turmeric every day. This is well known as a natural painkiller and is relatively inexpensive. Next up is fish oils for lubricating the joints. For over 200 years, people have been consuming cod liver oil to help lubricate the joints and prevent pain and swelling. Taking one to two teaspoons of virgin cod liver oil supports the healthy synovial fluid between your joints. The omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oils regulate inflammation in the body and prevent your immune system from attacking the tissues in your joints. Arctic krill oil is also another excellent option, which works particularly well at reducing knee pain and stiffness. Or you can simply consume more seafoods in your diet, like salmon, sardines, mackerel and shellfish. If you're finding this information useful, please tap the like, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with health and nutrition tips. So let's jump right back in with two extremely important nutrients for the joints, vitamin D and K2. First of all, vitamin D, or the sunshine vitamin, is a hormone that your body makes when your skin is exposed to the sunshine and UV. This is one of the most powerful anti-inflammatory nutrients for reducing joint pain, especially in the spine and the lower back. Billions of people worldwide are deficient in vitamin D, which can weaken the joints and make the bones more likely to break, fracture and bend. On the other hand, we have another nutrient, vitamin K2, which works with vitamin D in the body to support healthy bones and joints. If you have bone-on-bone -bone rubbing, spurs or damaged cartilage, then you may have calcium deposits that start to build up around your joints, making them very stiff and painful. Vitamin K2 comes in and helps to move this extra calcium away from the joints and place it back into the bones where it belongs. You can take a daily supplement of 20,000 international units of vitamin D3 along with 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 if you wish. I understand that there's a lot of information in this video to take in, so feel free to pause, rewind and take notes if you need to. Coming back now to number 5, next up is vitamin C. The tendons, ligaments and the cartilage in your joints are all held together by collagen. Collagen is basically the structural protein which keeps the joints strong and healthy. 
we tend to lose collagen as we get older and our bodies become more frail. However, keeping your vitamin C levels high ensures that your body continues to build healthy collagen for stronger joints, younger looking skin and smoother arteries. Excellent sources of vitamin C are bell peppers, sauerkraut, berries, raw leafy green vegetables and citrus fruits. If you decide to take a supplement, please avoid the synthetic ascorbic acid supplements and take the full vitamin C complex from a whole fruit powder like acerola cherry, camu camu or rose hips. Now let's talk about collagen itself. I just mentioned in the last section that vitamin C helps your body to build collagen that strengthens your joints. However, the raw material for collagen comes in the form of amino acids found in animal-based foods like eggs, beef, fish, shellfish, etc. To boost your collagen intake, I recommend consuming 1 to 2 tablespoons of bone broth powder daily. You can drink this in a glass of water, blend it into a smoothie, a soup or a stir fry. Chicken or fish bone broth naturally boosts collagen in your joints to help repair and strengthen them. On a side note, if you have any digestive problems, I recommend consuming apple cider vinegar capsules before each meal to help your stomach absorb more collagen and amino acids. Don't underestimate number 7, which is potassium. If you have rheumatoid arthritis, your immune system is attacking the joints and causing severe pain and inflammation. Potassium is the key mineral which helps your body to make cortisol. This is an anti-inflammatory steroid hormone that eases your joint pain. Start consuming at least 4700 to 6000 milligrams of potassium each day by eating leafy green vegetables and supplementing with potassium citrate. I'll be adding some links to some recommended products below the video which you can research in your own time. Potassium helps the body to release any extra water weight and swelling that may be putting pressure on your joints. The last supplement on my list today is colostrum. Another amazing remedy for relieving joint pain is taking 1 to 2 teaspoons of colostrum powder daily from grass-fed cows. Colostrum is a nutrient-dense liquid that's made in the first few days after mammals give birth. Taking this boosts IGF, a hormone that helps your body remodel, rebuild and repair the cartilage and the connective tissues in your joints. So try out a mixture of these natural remedies and see which works best for you. Remember that everyone has a unique biochemistry so you will need to take a trial and error approach to fixing problems and improving your health. Please remember that supplements are not designed to be a magic pill. It's important to correct your diet and lifestyle by eating whole nutritious foods if you truly want to heal your joints. Foods to avoid to prevent joint pain now that you're aware of some of the key nutrients needed to relieve joint pain, you will also want to avoid certain triggers that may be making your joint pain worse. 1. Avoid inflammatory vegetable oils such as corn, cottonseed, canola and other seed oils. These contain high amounts of omega-6 fats which trigger inflammation and swelling in the joints. Replace these with healthier omega-3 foods like oily fish and shellfish or you will continue to have inflammation. 2. Reduce refined foods, processed sugars and flour as much as possible. Sugar creates inflammation and depletes your body of vitamin C which leads to weaker collagen and stiff joints. I'm also including artificial sweetness here such as those found in diet soda as these too cause problems in the joints. Soda must be avoided as the phosphoric acid slowly causes bone loss. 3. Avoid elemental iron supplements. Many multivitamins and over-the-counter pills contain high amounts of elemental iron which causes problems in the liver and can form scar tissue. Over time this weakens your joints as you're less able to absorb certain nutrients due to the liver damage. Get your natural heme iron from red meat and protein sources instead. Some important tips on joint pain. 
If you experience a lot of joint pain around the right shoulder blade or pressure in the right side of your rib cage, you are likely deficient in bile. Bile is a substance made by your liver and gallbladder that allows you to digest fats and absorb nutrients like omega-3s. For some people, simply taking 2-3 to three capsules of purified bile supplements majorly reduces stiffness in the shoulders, ribs and other joints of the body. Mechanically, if you're suffering with knee pain, hip pain and you're overweight, you must ensure that you lose weight. No amount of supplements will help in this situation because the extra load puts pressure on the connective tissues and weakens the joint. Also, if you find it difficult to exercise, the best way to lose weight is by following a low-carb diet such as keto and perhaps an intermittent fasting plan, which you can learn about in my other videos. To learn more about the best diet and techniques to ease joint pain, go ahead and tap on this video playlist on the screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video and as always, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.